Alright guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So, Dragon Ball Legends um, has recently released this tag in-game. Um, you know, tags are essentially categories in Dokkan, right? It's a very similar thing. Uh, Dokkan and Legends categories and tags do have a lot of similarities. I, I want to say Legends tags are typically constructed a little bit better than a lot of Dokkan categories. I think that the Legends tags are a little bit more generous, a little bit more fair to a lot of characters when it comes to placing them in, you know, sort of like categories like this, right? Like, <clears throat> one of the big things Legends does, which is a huge W, is they'll have these duo characters, right? You know, let's just use um, LR, Vegeta, and Trunks and Dokkan as an example. There's, a, you know, like a switching Vegeta and Trunks and Legends. That unit is on Hybrid Saiyans, they're on Vegeta Family, they're on, you know, God Key, Realm of Gods, they're on, you know, Pure Saiyans, like, they have every category or tag that both Vegeta and Trunks have, which is something that Dokkan would really benefit from. Imagine if many of these characters use Android 17 and Golden Frieza as an example, if all of a sudden that character's on Androids and on Wicked Bloodline and stuff like that, it would massively improve the game, right? Because then these duo weird characters like, you know, Krillin and Gohan from Namek, you know, you're buffing, uh, you're just spreading out the buffs for a lot of different teams. I think Dokkan would be far better if they copied that way of Legends, you know, sort of doing these categories or tags is by characters being on all of them. Now, Legends actually just released a new category or tag here, the Universe Rep tag. Um, Legends does not introduce new tags very often. I, you know, I I've followed Legends since day one. I've never, like, not followed it. I, it was the last tag released powerful opponent during the third, the, that was the second anniversary now. Was that? There may have been another since. That's another category that Dokkan should copy, by the way. That would be very good for Dokkan. Um, but this universe rep, I, I think, is a pretty good idea. Um, and I, I'll show why in Dokkan in one second. So, you know, it, it's very obvious what exactly this is. This is just every character that is representing their universe. So, right now, there's essentially two arcs where all these characters are taken from. This hit, th this guy right here, this is from the universe 6, um... Uh, like arc right here, the, the God of Destruction Champa saga, the Universe Six arc. That's what this hit is from, and that's kind of my main point of why I do want this like category to come to Dokkan, is because Universe Six for Seven tournament is pretty much untouched in Dokkan. Now, there's not the hypest stuff ever, but there is some stuff that I think they could make really top tier material that people would be very excited for, and they would be off of the major sort of category that Dokkan has for this, which is the Universal Survival Saga, right? A hit from, you know, the Universe 6 or 7 tournament would not be on Universal Survival Saga, right? So it's like by creating this, you know, category, you're being able to pair him with characters that are probably going to work better for him um, and have all these characters, right? So essentially, this is two arcs, the Tournament of Power, as well as Universe 6 versus 7 tournament, um, I'll identify, uh, any other Universe 6 or 7 tournament characters. There is this guy right here. Th this is the transforming Blue Cow Can Goku, uh, from the fight against Hits, right? But I, I would anticipate this is something that Dokkan could do as well, right? Which is, again, sort of create this sort of combo category. Now, I did go ahead and make it in Dokkan. So, oh, here, let me just get rid of this. So, th this, I believe, is what the category would look like in Dokkan at the moment. I have 140 units in my box that I believe would hit this category. Now, keep in mind, this is basically something that I think could really fill out later on, right? Like, this isn't the most important thing ever, but... You know, if they start to do really strong characters from the Universe 6 vs. 7 tournament, this would really... Like, this Blue Cow Can Goku um, or hits from this fight, like, it would really help them out. And there are numerous other characters that they could make sort of decent units from, uh, from this category. So, as we can see, for the most part, this is pretty much just the Universal Survival Saga plus... Um, some of the Universe 6 vs. 7 tournament characters, but there's really not many, right? Universe 6 vs. 7 tournament characters. We do have Blue Kaioken Goku, right? He was a very powerful Dokkan Fest back in 2016 is when this guy came out, right? 
that was our last Dokkan Fest Blue Goku. Um, I, I guess we, we could say maybe the Resurrection F Exchange Blue Goku and Blue Vegeta uh, is another Dokkan Fest Blue Goku, I suppose. But um, yeah, there's that. Um, we also do have Piccolo from the Universe 6 vs. 7 tournament where he kind of does his like, uh, you know, multi-form special beam cannon technique. Um, I do feel like they could release a decent character from this and, you know, he could either be like a universe rep support type unit or he could support uh superheroes right like there's there's categories um and i do think this piccolo um could you know support like if they drop that new version of him and keep in mind one of the big things here i'm talking about is animations eventually like dokkan you know kind of lives off of you know selling these animations of all these moments you know eventually it's like they're gonna remix you know the major hype stuff only so many times Right, that's why we get our Dokkan Fest Yamcha, we get our Dokkan Fest Pan, we get our Dokkan Fest Raditz, right? Because it's like, they can pull good source material material for these characters to make it look good. Look, look at Yamcha. Yamcha has really good looking animations. Very smooth, very clean, very crisp, right? People really like Yamcha's animations. So, you know, moments like the Universe 6 or 7 tournament, there's a lot they can pull from there, from, you know, Goku vs. Frost, Vegeta vs. Kabe, that they can make decent characters for. So, um, it, it's something I do want them to go back to that category, and or that, that arc, and it's something I think is going to happen. So, we have that Piccolo, and then I, I think pretty much the last thing we have, specifically from that tournament, is this Super Saiyan Goku. I mean, this guy is essentially uh, the one that's fighting Frost, right? Goku... Uh, does Goku? I think Goku only goes Super Saiyan in the Universe Six for Seven tournament against Frost. I, I'd have to. I have not watched that tournament in a while because I, I I wasn't really that until, I, like Hit shows up. That arc is really not that not that great. Like maybe the Vegeta versus Kabe stuff is cool for sure, and you know they expand upon that in the tournament of power, right? And Vegeta gets really emotional and eventually gets Evolution Blue. So like I do feel like. It's like, in retrospect, the Vegeta vs. Kabe stuff is, is even better because they followed up on it in the Tournament of Power, right? But for the most part... So I guess until Vegeta vs. Kabe, which then Vegeta vs. Kabe then goes into Vegeta vs. Hit, then into Goku vs. Hit, most of the Universe 6 or 7 tournament really doesn't have that much. But it's like, you know, we could get a blue Vegeta from the tournament. Um, we don't have... So remember, blue Vegeta in sort of that armor. Let's just go to uh, the, the STR one. Well, no, it, it's not... Um, Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just quickly jump over to STR Blue Vegeta. Uh, and I, I just want to show... So this Blue Vegeta in his armor, right? This guy right here. He only goes Super Saiyan in this outfit, I believe, when he's fighting... Is it Boda Magetta? He, he goes Super Saiyan as well when he's fighting Kabe too, right? But mainly it's when he's fighting Boda Magetta. So I do think we potentially could, you know, get like a Super Saiyan Vegeta of that sort of version. Now, one other thing I want to look at, and then we're going to look at some of the Universe 6 characters that Dokkan could add in here, um, is if we jump over to the Universal Survival Saga, again, most of this category would be represented, um, or mo mo most of this category would be on this, you know, theoretical universe rep category, except for a few choice characters. Um, Dokkan definitely would not include any angels or gods of destructions from it, because they're not really representing their universe. I mean, they do, there is like a little bit of a battle royale in, in the anime. In the manga, the gods of destruction actually have like a full-on all of them fighting together, right? Uh, Goten, Trunks, and Marin, they, of course, aren't actually participating. Skinny Boo also is not participating. Um, Urine is also not participating, right? Like, these characters are not actually in there, right? By the way, Frost. Yeah, there's First Form Frost, Third Form Frost, Final Form Frost, and Full Power Frost that they all could do. Um, I, I do think that Frost could get a decent-ish character, um, one thing that is an issue, though, is Frost is not on, yeah, Frost is not on Wicked Blood. For some reason, they don't put Frost on Wicked Bloodline. I I do think that's really stupid. The reason I think it's so dumb, because I, 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 I guess I get it, right? Because it's supposed to, Wicked Bloodline, I, I believe in, you know, the actual, like, more literal Japanese translation is, like, it's, Frieza's family is what it's talking about, not really his race or something. Well, I, I guess bl Bloodline is his family, right? But because it, it, it's like Kabe, Khalifa, and Kale are on pure Saiyans, but Frost can't be on Wicked Bloodline, right? Like it's kind of it 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 it's just kind of stupid, I think. 
um, that there's not really like like Frost just gets unnecessarily shafted. So if we just switch over, there, there are, again, numerous moments that we could take from this. I do think Champa and Vados could be an LR at some point. I mean, they wouldn't be the hypest LR, but I definitely think it's something that Dokkan could do at some point. Um, there is sort of like a lot of almost like filler at the start, right? Bearded Goku and Vegeta. This could be an April Fool's Day unit, I think. Something like that would be fine. Um, yep, Fat Boo, of course, falls asleep like usual. Batamo, I think, could get a normal TUR character. Um, he has his SR, which Dokkan awakens into Boda Megeta. But I think Batamo could get a TUR. There's no reason not to. Again, Frost has his first form, third form, final form during this tournament. Um, Goku fights, I believe, in base, Super Saiyan, and, uh, Blue, right, are the three forms Goku you and I guess Blue Kaioken Goku, of course, as well. Um, Piccolo does his, you know, sort of, like, multi-form technique against Frost. Uh, th this, of course, Vegeta, you know, does his Super Saiyan, oh, he, yeah, he fights, uh, but, um, Automageddon and Frost, he, he, he beats them in Super Saiyan, right? So that would be cool. Super Saiyan Vegeta, I think, would work. I do think Automageddon could get a TUR character. There's no reason he couldn't. Um, they could do something from the Vegeta versus Kabe stuff. I feel like Kabe eventually could get a Dokkan Fest. I mean, Kabe would be... Kabe, I think, is like a Videl Yamcha level character, Dokkan Fest. Like, I know he gets Super Saiyan 2, but I still think he's like a Videl or, or Yamcha level Dokkan Fest, for sure. Kabe, I, you know, like, he's not, Kale and Khalifa, I feel like, have much more hype attached to them, and much more sort of like, like, notoriety or controversy, right? And, of course, they have a fusion, Kefla, whereas Kabe is just kind of like, uh, there, I, I guess, right? Uh, now, Hit. Hit, let's let's just be serious. Hit could get a top five, like, strongest unit in the game, LR. He deserves it. I, You know, we've seen Hit dominating Legends right now. This this Ultra and Legends is so crazy. Um, Ultras essentially are LRs for Dokkan, right? Um, I I think a, 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 a LR hit, right, just purely dominant, the best hit Dokkan has ever done, I think would be awesome from the Universe 6 for 7 tournament. I, they, I think... I think it would be so swaggy. Everyone would love it. He could have a, a very good intro, right? I, the, the intro I'm thinking of, am I thinking of fighters? I think they could literally just take his intro from fighters, right? Like, wouldn't that work really well? I I, I think so. Um, So they could do that. Um, And then, of course, you know, the Goku versus Hit. And then we could get Blue Kaioken Goku. I do think they could do Dokkan Fest LRs of Blue Kaioken Goku and Hit. I, I think they could actually carry. Like, I think that, that would work. The only problem with making them Dokkan Fest LRs is I don't really feel like this tournament can fill out the rest of the celebration. It would need to, I think, just be sort of a generic, like, you know, Dragon Ball Super, like, celebration. And maybe part two would be other characters, right? Because uh, if it's going to be Dokkan Fest LRs, I guess... This could maybe be like Tanabata. I, I just, I don't know. I, I don't think that the Universe 6 or 7 tournament is big enough for one of these huge celebrations, which is usually where Dokkan Fest LRs are, right? I do think Hit and Goku are, they could get Dokkan Fest LRs, and I think people would be very excited. I think it would work well. But it's just, I don't know how good the rest of the celebration would be, because this arc in general, besides this is not that crazy. This is really good, right? When Goku does go Blue Kaioken, but the rest of it isn't really that crazy, right? They could do some goofball Monica card as well. I, I feel like would work pretty well. Um, But there's there's a lot of stuff in here, right, man? I mean, we yeah, again, there's, there's what, nine fights? I mean, this one doesn't really matter so much. Um, But we have nine fights available in here, right? So I, I, I do think that that tournament could get a lot of love. And then I think it could lead to this, you know, universe reps uh, category being a legitimate thing. And it would make sense for them to do something. This is, I mean, it would be pretty similar to the Universal Survival Saga. And we'll get more stuff from the Universal Survival Saga. LR Kefla, Dokkan Fest God Topo, another Evolution Blue Vegeta, right? We're going to get stuff like that. Um, but I feel like, you know, with 200% leader skills where they could do universe rep as a 170 and then they could do, you know, universe seven and accelerate a battle are the units getting the 200% stuff like that. Right. So it's like, I do think it would work rather well. So let me know what you guys think. 
um, of a universe rep uh, category in Dokkan. Again, you know, pretty much the same thing Legends has. I do think this is a good idea. Legends does have issues with sort of like characters buffing the, the rival universe and universe rival saga and universe rep and all this stuff. Like it's kind of a mess right now in Legends. But I do think this category or tag is a really good idea. And I would like to see Dokkan implement this. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you all next time.